Yep, another Sonic the Hedgehog uh, let's play, and uh, this one will be more self-indulgent, I believe, or at the very least, uh, that's how it's going to start. Going to start because uh, even though I do have this game for Steam, uh, f you know, for PC, I am actually playing this right now on uh, the Nintendo GameCube emulator, the Dolphin emulator, because. Uh, Sonic Adventure DX is a uh, sort of uh, remastered version of the original Sonic Adventure release for the for the Sega Dreamcast. But despite being a remaster, the game is actually known to have uh, more glitches and issues from the original release. And because of that, and because of a certain internet personality, along with uh, some other uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, critics, uh, this game has uh, received some uh, bad rep, rep uh, for the past five years or something. And one of the reasons this is going to be a self-indulgent let's play is because uh, over at uh, a certain internet forum I have had the, the dishonor of arguing against uh, certain people when it comes to this game. <clears throat> so. Uh, before I get too deep into that for now, let's just uh, get ready to get started, simply put. Sonic Adventure DX uh, Director's Cut. And start. Select a memory. Okay. Select a file. A fresh new one, if you please. Okay. <clears throat> Adventure mode. Select it's basically a story mode. So as you can see, we have a sort of character wheel right here. We are able to choose uh, between six characters in this game. Which was pretty dang neat for at the time, but right now we can only play as Sonic. Here is something to pay attention to. How to play as Sonic? Yes. With a rockin' theme song, this game comes with full on uh, instructions about how to play with the characters. You don't have to look it up in the physical uh, uh, manual which came with the game. <clears throat> so really, you have no reason to uh, struggle at certain points in the game, which uh, I am referring to a certain other character which can be played in this game. But this game is, uh, as you can imagine, quite old. So the cutscenes and the character models are, well, dated. Dated, to say the least. <clears throat> One of the reasons they are dated... The character model's movements, especially their mouth movements, is, um, yeah. It is definitely something to criticize the game for, in its presentation at the very least, but uh, it is honestly a low-hanging fruit when it comes to criticizing the game as a whole. But some people think that it, that is a valid reason to say that this game is overall bad, because of the presentation. So, um, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look good for the presentation in the cutscenes, but uh, does uh, bad cutscenes represent bad gameplay in the game? Ready? No, not really, you know. But again, some people cling on to that argument for, uh, for the sake of just saying that Sonic Adventure is bad. And that people who like this game are, uh, well, morons. 
just like this police officer who keeps firing at this thing, despite it clearly being stated that the bullets are ineffective. So, what do we do when bullets uh, do not work? We brute force his brain. I mean, how else? Just one more hit, she'll do it. Oh, let my guard down. <laughs> oh, he can't hit me if I'm just standing close to the pole. Okay. You learn something new every day, I guess. And done. Did you just die to the first boss? <laughs> so, as I mentioned, uh, this version of the game on, do have a handful of glitches, or uh, so it's said. So for this playthrough, I'm... Uh, actually excited to see just how many of them we will run into, even though I am an experienced player. Because I'll be perfectly honest, uh, I played Sonic Adventure DX on the Nintendo GameCube a lot when I was a kid, like... Uh, you know I spent time in the Chow Garden to get all of the emblems, so I may play as Metal Sonic even. And I did not run into that many troubles, uh, like... Uh, some people claim that this game has. Uh... So it could very well be that they are simply... ...blindly listening to uh, internet gospel, as I like to call it. Mouth though. Tails. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Jeez, Alec. <laughs> Pretty presumptuous of you to assume that he survived that crash. I mean, either you have that much faith in him, or your friendship is most questionable in terms of how much you value each other. In this case, your lives. <laughs> Welcome to the first stage, and the mission objective is laid out right in front of us, just rescue Tails. But really, it could mean the same as just get to the goal ring. This is Emerald Coast, by the way, in case you did not read the title. And boy... When I was a wee bit lad when I played this on the GameCube, the music of the first stage made a solid impression on these ears of mine. Because, yes, this... I don't think I mentioned it, but this is actually... Okay, before I talk about that. Let's try to... Yeah, see, now, now I'm not moving right now. And Sonic, for some reason, try, gets dragged into the wall. Um, can I even get through? Oh... Okay, so to make it clear once more... I do have this game on Steam, but it may very well it may very well be that they fixed certain issues this game had on Steam, which is why I am playing it on a GameCube emulator. So I have a, I will have a better chance to sort of analyze these glitches. Oh, stop up! Okay, so what I am trying to do right now. It's out of replicate a certain glitch Aaron Igarato Hansen pulled off. Okay, let's see. If I run into the loop and hold back, I will make it. Let's die on purpose just to get back to the checkpoint. So right there, I held back. But I still made it through the loop. So what happens if I hold it to the side? Yes, so I think I can confirm that as long as you hold any direction at all while running through that loop, 
the game will as programmed to make it so that Sonic will make it. But if you stop up... There is no guarantee that you will make it. So, really, okay. Let's die here and get the game over, and I'll see you back at the checkpoint. Okay, so now I try I'm gonna try to do as the game intended, just move forward or along this trail. You can see Sonic gets suckered a little bit to the right. But not really that close to making glitch through the wall. Okay, let's do it one more time. Just hold forward, hold forward. And you're fine. Okay, now let's try to slow down once more. Oh, okay, okay. And there we go. <laughs> this is indefensible! <laughs> How can people like this game? Ah, uh, okay. That's enough for now. Let's go. So let's, uh, oh, I did grab that box already. <laughs> okay. But yes, this is actually my very first uh, Sonic game. And let's just say it did leave me an everlasting impression on uh, the franchise. And uh, despite me saying that, uh, okay, before I continue the tangent, I'm going to say right now. That Orca chase right there, it is very possible to just uh, run through the board, the plaque boards. <laughs> because like I said, I, play I have played this game many, many times. And because of that, uh, I have run into the slim chance of just running through the floor right there. While the orca is uh, chasing you, but anyway, or killer whale, if you will. But yes, this uh, game was my very first Sonic game, but despite the fact uh, that uh, it left an everlasting impression on me when I was a kid. And sorry about that. Uh, but yes, um, this game has uh, overall not wa aged well for me personally, but. Uh, that is just my feelings getting in the way. Really. <clears throat> so, uh, there is going to be some bias in this let's play, I suppose. Uh, but uh, if there is uh, bias, uh, then... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll be, sure to, I'll, be, I'll be sure to let you guys know about that. So, um... Uh, yes, because there is such a thing as being biased when... Uh, playing and criticizing these games, but um, it's all about being fair, you know. I'll leave. We are just about- what the? That's an interesting- did I just trigger something? Oh, the camera got messed up there right there, when I jumped uh, like that. <laughs> That's new. Well, let's say that uh, this uh, thing might be off to a great start, eh? Yeah. And there's Tails. Yeah, not bad. So he does care, maybe. Anyway? Well, maybe. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I do agree with you. Let's just uh, go with that. And a 
as you may notice, uh, the music in this game can be quite loud. <laughs> yeah, the sound mixing in this game is basically not the best when it comes to these uh, cutscenes. Now we can play as Tails, yes, so as you, as you progress through your Sonic story, you will eventually unlock the other characters to play, to play as. But you know, I think this is a fine time to stop this episode for now, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure when I'm going to continue playing, because this episode was once again just to indulge myself into talking about the glitches this game supposedly suffers from, so uh, might take a little while before the next episode is released, but anyway, it's goodbye for now, and uh, yeah. Aaron Hansen from Gay Grumps, uh, he lied to you. He just did. Stop uh, licking his uh, boot already, please. Uh,